Rezo is a dynamic resonance suppressor that helps you quickly identify and resolve resonances in your audio. When resonances build up to an excessive level, your music can sound harsh and unpleasant, often masking other elements that you actually want to hear. But applying broad resonant reduction across your whole mix can take away the character of your audio. And if you apply too much reduction, you'll make the mix sound thin and reduce the punch of your transients. Rezo helps you identify which specific frequencies have a buildup of energy relative to your whole mix. It also guides you on how much reduction is needed to dynamically resolve the resonance without overdoing it. The high quality filters deliver mastering grade transparency with automatic Q optimization to give you the most musical results. There simply isn't a faster or more effective way to musically resolve resonant issues in your mix. Rezo can be used to fix the resonances of any channel in your mix, whether it's a vocal, a synth, percussion, buses, or your mastering chain. Once you've loaded up an instance of Rezo, play your audio and click Calculate Targets. Rezo will then analyze your audio, find the most resonant frequencies, and give you target nodes, showing how much reduction is suggested to transparently resolve the resonances. You can now click Engage Targets or click the targets one by one to initiate processing. From this starting point, you can then adjust the nodes to suit the music and your taste. Creating another node is as easy as double-clicking anywhere on the interface. Rezo displays a frequency analyzer with the peak scale on the right-hand side. To keep the interface as clean as possible, you interact directly with the frequency analyzer. By default, the display shows pre, post, and max peaks across the frequency spectrum. Listen to your audio and use the frequency display to help you locate any frequencies that sound disproportionately resonant in the context of the other frequencies. Double-click anywhere within the main window to create a node to initiate the dynamic reduction of a frequency. Position the node at the peak level at which you want the resonance suppression to start. We recommend aiming around the real-time pre-frequency display for transparent resonance control, and then dragging the node down from there for a more significant reduction. Rezo uses a soft knee to reduce the amplitude of the frequency as it approaches and surpasses the node. Click Reset to refresh the white line max peak analysis to get a clear visual of how the processing affects your sound. Each node can be moved freely around the spectrum. To lock the frequency, hold control before moving the node. This will allow you to maintain the set frequency and vertically adjust the amount of dynamic reduction. To lock the peak reduction and adjust the frequency, hold shift before moving the node horizontally. When you create a node, the cue is automatically optimized to sound great for that frequency. If you move the node around, it will automatically update the cue. You can scroll whilst hovering over a node to adjust the cue to suit the music and your preference. You can click and drag to select multiple nodes and adjust them simultaneously. Hover over a node to reveal the solo, bypass and delete controls. The AB button allows you to quickly switch between two different states of the plugin. This enables you to try a different approach to your audio to see what works best. The arrow above the AB button copies the active state to the inactive state. This allows you to keep the current settings of the plugin in the inactive state and make a few adjustments in the active state to see if you can improve the sound. You can then jump between AB to see which you prefer. Rezo makes locating resonances by ear easier than ever. A classic way to identify resonances is to create an EQ boost with a thin Q bandwidth and sweep around the frequency spectrum and listen for a problematic frequency that jumps out at you. When the frequency sweeping icon in Rezo is activated, your mouse position will determine which frequency is being boosted. You can then engage nodes on the fly when you identify a resonance. Hold control to toggle the frequency sweeping on and off. Note that almost every frequency will sound unpleasant when boosted with a high Q, so use this feature with caution to pick out the disproportionately resonant frequencies.
As with all things in audio, you want to be sure all processing has a positive effect on the sound of the mix and is getting you closer to your desired sound. You can click the delta button to solo what Rezo is removing from your mix. The bypass button will let you preview the before and after results of the processing. When you create a node, it's at a specific peak level that relates to the input volume of the signal. If the input gain changes due to changes in your processing chain or gain of the audio, then the amount of processing applied by Rezo will also change. This would also be the case for any compressors in your chain that are triggered by a threshold. We included a quick fix for this in Rezo. You can click the link button, which will allow you to adjust the input gain by any amount and it will automatically adjust the output gain to maintain the exact same volume. You can also use this like a wet-dry slider. Start by clicking the input and output gain link button. Then push the input gain up for more resonance reduction and lower the input gain for less resonance reduction. We hope Rezo helps you identify and resolve the resonances in your audio so you can release the best sounding music you've ever created. We're here to help if you run into any problems or have any questions. Thanks for watching.